Hello go getters of Biotechnica welcome back again today I have come up with an interesting topic for you which is Google PhD fellowship program which will be on 2023. So this fellowship program is directly going to support all the graduate student and also to help you to pursue your PhD by uh, providing you fellowship as well as connect you to the Google research mentors and watch out the video completely and you can be the next a Google PhD fellow. So with no more delay, let's get started to the video. So now let's talk about what is this Google PhD fellowship program. This Google PhD fellowship program is directly going to support all the graduate students to pursue their research as well as it's going to connect you to the Google research mentors, which is really going to be a prestigious thing. And apart from that, they are also going to nurture and maintain a strong relationship. The main purpose of the Google is to have a good relationship with the academic community also. And they're going to recruit or they're going to recognize some outstanding graduate students who are actually performing exceptional and innovative research in all the areas which are relevant to computer science and you you can actually uh, get this fellowship if you are from Africa, Australia, Canada, East Africa, Europe and India and New Zealand, Southeast Asia and the United States of America. Okay, what's going to be the best and the brightest of this uh, Google PhD fellowship program? So Google PhD fellowship students are a select group recognized by the Google researchers. So the Google researchers are the one who are going to select uh, the very promising candidate who can literally do a wonderful proposal and a wonderful research in India. And apart from that, they are going to select all the young academics from all part of the world and you'll be working with them also uh, in India or you might have a chance to do an internship also. The fellowships are awarded to the students who represent the future of research in the following fields only. So let's talk about what are the fields are actually up, can apply for this one. Algorithms, optimizations in market. Suppose if you are going to be a life science graduate. So if you are doing computational neural and cognitive sciences or health research, if you have an interest in pursuing a health research or computational uh, neural and cognitive sciences, then you can opt for this. The rest of the fields are related to computer science. This is also related to computer science. If you are belonging to life science, then you can opt these two things. And human computer interactions, machine learning and machine perception, speech technology and computer vision mobile computing, natural language processing, privacy and security, programming languages and software engineering, quantum computing, recommender system, structured data and database management and systems and networking. So if you are from life science, you can offer these two things. The rest of the people who want to look for it, you can look for any of these things which are literally giving you a great passion to work on all this things okay the next thing is how can i apply yes so actually 2020 22 is over so 2023 a google phd fellowship is going to come which you will be getting during your february it's expected to be on february but before going in for that you need to know what are the documents you need what are the documents you can get and what to do uh, when doing your proposals and what are the things that you need at the moment of applications i'll be telling you so make a note of all the things that i'll be explaining it you can directly go to the uh, google phd fellowship so you which you can find that in the link in the description box or you can see it in the biotechnica's website also so this is the page that you are actually seeing Google PhD fellowship program you can literally see the Google research page which is given here and here you can see how to apply very specifically you can see here and beneath this you can see Africa, India and Southeast Asia under this you can see the Google India PhD fellowship program application windows closed for 2022 but the notification of decision will be declared by August and very important, we are talking about 2023. Application for 2023 will open in 
February 2023. So you have a lot of time so you can make use of the time and you can collect what are the documents that is actually required for you. So this is the official website that you can go and apply. So what does this Google PhD fellowship is going to provide you? So students received a named fellowship or we can say this Google fellowship are going to of course get a monetary benefits. So monetary award will be given and these funds which are going to get it from the Google it will be directly given to the university to be distributed to cover the students expenses as well as it is also going to provide you stipend as appropriate. And in addition, the students will be matched with the Google Research Mentor. As I already told you, you have an opportunity to work or to be matching with a Google Research Mentor. We hope we will become a valuable research to the students. That's the purpose of this Google, uh, which is funding graduate students to pursue their research and also going to give you a very valuable uh, resources to you in turn in India. But there is no employee relationship between the student and the Google. Even if a Google research mentor is associating with you, there is no guarantee that you can be an employee of the Google after receiving this fellowship or at the time of fellowship. The fellowship recipients are not subjected to any intellectual property restrictions unless you are going to complete your internship at Google is given. And the most important thing is suppose if the uh, fellowship recipient, if you're getting this fellowship, you can serve as an intern in the Google and if it is encouraged, then you can be, but we cannot say that Google is definitely guarantee you that they can provide you an internship. Sometimes they, you have an opportunity to become an intern at Google also, but no employee is guaranteed at Google. The next one, what is going to be the fundings for you in India? So if you're starting your PhD at the early stage, suppose if you have joined your first year for first four years, you can get your PhD a stipendship. So they will be for about uh, four year. And how much is the stipend going to be? It's going to be US dollar 50k to cover the stipend and other related uh, research activities and also your travel expenses, including your overseas travel. You can even go for your conferences overseas. And definitely they are providing you a Google research mentor, which is a wonderful opportunity for you. Suppose if you are in your second year or you are in your third year, then you can also apply for this, but it will be coming under late stage PhD students. So it is only for one year you might be getting and how much is the stipend going to be? It's going to be US dollar 10K and it is also for the same purposes, your research contributions and to cover your stipend and all the research related activities, your travel expenses, including your overseas travel. And definitely you will also be provided with your Google research mentor. Suppose if you are studying or if you have enrolled in a PhD or pursuing your PhD in any of the university, if you're going to ask me a question like uh, whether my university is eligible for this Google PhD fellowship program. Yes, you are eligible. Applications are open to all the students in computer science, including this cognitive research I told you and health sciences from any African and Indian university or from any university in an eligible Southeast Asian countries like Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, as well as Vietnam. And very importantly, all award payments, how much ever they're going to pay and the recipients will be reviewed as usual, which is relevant to the US rules also and international laws and regulations and policies also. And Google also reserves the right to withhold the fundings that may violate the laws and regulate regulations or we can say policies. Now, so what's going to be the eligibility criteria if you have to apply for this Google PhD uh, fellowship? Direct applicant students in Africa, India and Southeast Asia can apply. And very important point, full-time graduate student pursuing a PhD and enrolled in any of the African, Indian and Southeast Asian institution, then you can definitely go for it. Suppose if you are in your undergraduate final year and if you want to pursue your uh, PhD directly or your uh, master's and if you want to pursue your PhD or if you are a professional, then you can also apply. But everybody has to enroll yourself in a PhD program in an Indian university or African or Southeast Asian universities. 
professionals must be employed with an organization registered in Africa, India, and then they have to get enrolled for the PhD. The fellowship award shall be contingent on the awardee registering for a full-time PhD programs only and it's not for part-time PhD programs that, to, that has to be taken into considerations within the calendar year of the fellowship award or the award shall be fortified. The grant of the fellowship does not mean admission to the PhD program. You will have to get yourself admitted in the PhD program. Then you can avail the fellowship. If you're getting the fellowship also, if you're not having your PhD and all those things, it's not going to be valid and it's not going to give you a guarantee that you are going to get your PhD degree. So the grant of the fellowship will be subjected to the same rules and regulation applicable uh, in your university or the institution where you're actually going to be doing your PhD or pursuing your PhD. The student must enroll full-time PhD program for the duration of the fellowship. Suppose if you are an early PhD student, for four years you can do that and your fellowship will be given for four years. If you're getting your PhD at the end of your fourth year or third year, only one year this PhD will be funded. After that, you won't have this PhD fellowship. And if anybody is working in Google or uh, the Google employees and their spouses, children and members of their household are not eligible to apply for this fellowship. The students that are already supported by any of the comparable industry awards are not eligible. Government or non-profit organization funding is an exempt. So if that's the case, you can apply for this. Now, what should be included in the application? What are the documents? You have a lot of time to collect your documents. So what are the documents that you need at the time of submission? So let's talk that in detail. So Indian uh, application we are talking about. So students will need to have all these documents very specifically in English language only. Very specifically in English language only. And the students, applicants, resume, with links to any of the websites about your professional websites. And if you have publications, if applicable, you can actually include that. The next is all the available transcripts, your mark sheets, starting from the first year and the semester, or we can say semester of your bachelor's degree, till date what you're actually studying it, all the transcripts should be available. The next is the most important thing, which is actually going to fetch you this fellowship is research proposal. Maximum, it has to be three pages, excluding references. Without the references, it need to have at least three pages with a good novelty, without plagiarisms and all those things. The last one is going to be, you need to collect two to three letters of recommendation from familiar with the applicant's work. Whoever is more uh, good about it, you can have a reference, at least one from the thesis advisor for the current PhD student. Suppose if you are a PhD student pursuing under a scientist or under advisor, you need to get at least one from them and the rest of the two, you can collect it from any one of them. So these are the documents that you really have to take and collect it before the application process actually begins. And I already told you, you can directly go to the ap application portal and you can start applying for it. And how is this application is actually evaluated? So the applications are evaluated mainly based on the research proposal. I told you strength of the research proposal, how good enough and how novelistic it is and what is going to be the research impact of this research if you're going to carry out. And also they will check about your students' academic achievements and leadership potential that you have. And these research proposals are evaluated for mostly innovative concepts that are mainly relevant to Google research area. So if you're going to take a research proposal, make sure it is relevant to the Google research areas as well as aspects of robust, robustness and potential impact to the field. And this proposal should include direction and any plan of where you are exactly going to carry out this project in a very detailed way. And in the United States, Canada and Europe, essay responses are evaluated in additional uh, application materials that is not included for us. So it's not that much important for uh, an Indian student if you are actually going to be applying for it. What languages should the application be? Definitely, it's going to be in English. So the next question might be, can I directly apply for this Google PhD fellowship? Yes, if you are from Africa or if you're from India or Southeast Asia, then you can directly apply through the portal. 
In other cases, the eligible country or the eligible university will be approaching and you'll be getting the fellowship. But for Indians, there's no problem. You can directly go to the portal and you can start applying for it. The next one, how are Google PhD fellowship given? Any monetary awards will be paid directly only to the fellows university for distribution. No overhead should be assessed against them. So this is all about the Google PhD fellowship, which you will be getting it by 2023. Uh, might be by February month. So make sure you collect all the documents and I believe that you can be the next uh, Google PhD fellow also. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And you can also share this to a friend who is actually wishing to pursue a PhD along with a Google research mentor. Thank you all of you for joining and I'm going to meet you back again in the next video. Thank you.